All right, so again, I'm going to keep this very basic. I'm going to shift drag this for the knee. We want to I want to bring the uh, master radius down a little bit. Okay. So we have those two things. Let's check in the front viewport. We'll line these up. You get the hip ball there. And the knee ball, the joint. And... Um, we're just going to create the thigh and the calf out of cylinders. Again, we're just going for simplicity here. Uh, okay, yeah. So, cylinder, this one. Oh, I see. I lost track of where the hell everything was. There it is. So for this cylinder, we won't need that many height segments because we're not going to change. Oh, well, you know what? We'll leave it at uh, three. And we'll put an edit poly on there. So I want it to be at the knee here. I shrink this down so it fits inside of that. Uh, we'll shrink this down so it fits inside of this. And overall, we will... Um, <clears throat> We'll just shrink the radius of this also, the circumference. Mm. It's really hard just talking to like this kind of stuff because it's so boring. Yo, creating uh, basic primitives. Ooh, so exciting. It's bullshit. Rotate. the height um, when you rotate things out of place um, and these things all I'll all stay uh, the axis points I don't know how to say this but since the um, reference panels even after I bend this the access point stays completely vertical and horizontal because it's aligned to the viewport to understand the viewport is the front if you want to change that you can just go up to this up here you can change that to local and then you see it goes on the axis along with your primitive you created or whatever it is you've created um, oh, left slide everything into position so you want that centered on the knee joint and you also want it aimed at the socket properly again you want to change that to local so you can get it moving the direction you need it Okay, so with that, we can rotate it one more time, pow, and now we have one leg, <laughs> one upper leg. Boy, that looks such like a leg, doesn't it? That's so leggish. So we have that. You know what, I'm just going to... 
delete this one and uh, we'll build the calf out of the knee actually which is fine again I'll rotate this 90 degrees edit poly let's grab the bottoms extrude and bevel I want to turn back on my uh, uh, my reference panels layer so I keep seeing what it is that I'm doing here I just want to get it going about there and what I can do to create that calf bump in the basic shape of of the uh, calf is well first of all what I like to do is I hit F2 on my keyboard it just outlines the polygons because that big red bright look really man it burns out my eyes when I look at it like that okay so I have all my polygons selected there slice plane plow I'm just gonna it's already in a good position you see it's a uh, it's in the middle there I'm just going to hit slice, exit out of that. So I take these and I loop that to make sure only these ones are selected. I go to my reference panel and I can make these, stretch that out a little bit. And it's okay if what you're doing doesn't look exactly like this. Mine doesn't look exactly the way it should either. It's no worries. As long as you get the basic idea. Which is what we have now. And when checking the viewports, remember, don't forget to check in the viewports. Checking each viewport is very important. Like, we see that this is really skinny here. We could just, uh... select everything there and just uh, local it again let's get everything lined up all right so now we'll create the foot the foot is just a hemisphere that's uh stretched out <clears throat> 